Hey, are you concerned about protecting that brand new pretty sled that you just got? Here's the solution. Use SledSyn24 for a 15% off discount code on some Backwoods Bumpers, the industry leader in performance protection. Uh, Sleds and listeners, thank you guys for tuning in on this one, regardless of what platform you're on. Uh, and as always, uh, be sure to check out the description. We have a ton of companies on board this season with us pushing the brand and pushing the podcast. So there's a plethora of discounts down in there. So be sure to check that out. And uh, without further ado, Kobe's back with us, of course. And uh, we've got special guests, Luke and Riley. Boys, what's up? Another heydays, man. Another heydays. Just having fun. So. Yeah. How many boy, How many heydays have you guys been to? I think this is six for me. So it'd be my third. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Cool. So, Luke, you are from our neck of the woods. Yeah. In Oregon. Uh-huh. Good old Oregon boy. And then Riley, I got to make fun of you just because I can. You're from Butt, Montana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> doing it dirty already. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the reason why I... I I feel I'm allowed to say that is, you know where Ovando is? Yeah. That's yeah. where I grew up. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, all 65 people that live there. Yeah, I think, well, so what is there, like 57 now? Well, so when I was, yeah, well, yeah, so when I, pretty much, when I was there, it was like 75, and now it's like 64, 63, it's right there, there somewhere. But uh, yeah, I, I went there from third to eighth grade, and then I went to Drummond for my, my freshman, my freshman year. Nice. So, um yeah big love city montana boy. boys <laughs> <laughs> uh well cool so let's just kind of get into it i want both of you why don't each of you kind of give your own little introduction um to who you are what you do in the snowmobile space and we'll just start cool I, uh, yeah i'm luke youngberg sk to oregon i uh yeah i grew up riding snowmobiles with my dad like from little you know and mm-hmm. it's cool like being in oregon you don't have as many like opportunities of like exposed as much snowmobiling as yeah. these other states you know but i uh yeah just have always been into it graduated college went and uh guided snowmobiles in mccall for two years okay. for uh, cody monroe and then nice. bought a house and i'm like oh I, I don't know if i can afford to rent two places and then i went <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like oh, oh yeah racing's gonna be cheap we'll do that yeah. we'll do that. <laughs> oh is that dumb <laughs> you know but uh yeah you didn't really well, run numbers on that first did you no i didn't <laughs> not at all yeah. so yeah i wanted to get into uh hill climb racing and and i've been loving it and yeah. you know i've met some of my best friends now because of it and the connections sure. from that's been really cool how so, long you been doing it uh this will be this next season will be year four so okay. i first two years hopped right in at semi-pro thought i was gonna hop in but like oh semi-pro like <laughs> i'll be good you know and coming in hot and boy is it humbling every yeah, weekend sure. is it's it's a tough sport you know sure. so i went i went pro last year and okay. had a good season and you know i think i keep getting faster so yeah. it's uh yeah it, it's been fun it's cool yeah. so yeah. what was the what was the drive motivation i mean you boys doing that rimshaw stuff is i mean that i that's a whole nother level i don't have it I don't that know. big of balls. Yeah. <laughs> I just so what was like the the competition, you know? Ah. Like I, I'm playing sports, like wrestled, you know, wrestling in high okay. school was huge to me. I still uh, volunteer coach at my high school, and like that's been really fun. And um, just that competition, that competitive drive, and you know, you show up every weekend with two other uh, two hundred other guys that have that same drive as you, yeah. and um, just. Uh, uh, How did you get into it being in Oregon? There's not too many races in Oregon, is there? There's none. Yeah. Zero. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, I, I mean, basically, like, I knew the Rimshaw circuit. You know, that's what races Jackson. Everybody knows about Jackson, yeah. but nobody. So you just, like, went head in. You were like, yeah. screw it. I'm just going to travel gonna to do- all these. Yeah, <laughs> I just, yeah, I dove into it. and yeah. uh, I mean, if it wasn't for my dad, basically, like, couldn't have done it. So, you know, me and him, like, figuring out how to build snowmobiles and like what to do and cutting tracks and like you know i hadn't really met any other racers yet and mm-hmm. so like just trying to figure out some of the weird stuff you do for racing like it took yeah it, it took some time but once i was you know meeting friends everybody's willing to help out you know sure. so sure if, if people are like wanting to try it like hit one of us up like on instagram or something like I'll, there's no 
for me there's, there's no secrets there's like, no secrets yeah. like yeah yeah and every, the whole racing community is really cool like that around here just everybody's willing to help i mean they might try to keep one or two little things from you but for the most mm-hmm. part like getting a general baseline set up to go everybody's like all hands on deck and they'll do mm-hmm. anything yeah yeah it's not like the moto world at all where no it's really cool because even if you go down you bend an a-arm or something you don't have one at the race dude there's 10 guys like running to your trailer with parts to like get you yeah. going that's nice. wild yeah, like wild. guys in your class are like well sh- I, I at jackson one year my uh i was like i was up and the reeds blew out of my sled like it just blah, 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 wouldn't yeah. run and another guy in my class was like oh you're up like like grab my sled right now, really? so I didn't miss a run at Jackson. Like we're we're yeah. competing against each other yeah. in the same class. He's like, nope, take my sled. Wow, you know that speaks it, volumes. Yeah, like you know, you never want to yeah. like even like take a position to over something like that on a technical. So it's like you want to beat everybody at their best on their sure. best day. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah, that makes sense. Riley, go ahead and give your two cents yeah, on your introduction you, for yeah, you. How'd you get into that? Uh, so growing up in like Southwest Montana, um, I always knew same thing like Jackson Hole, but I had no idea there was a, a series outside of that. You know, I didn't know they traveled and had eight other rounds of racing. Um, when they started doing the live stream of Jackson on the internet, just sat down one morning, cause I'd never even been to the races to watch it. We sat okay. down, started watching, and an ad rolled across for another race at Grand Targhee. I don't know, it just kind of sparked my interest. Cause I heard all the names like Les Keller and Toby Shepard and Keith Curtis, you know, all Montana boys racing, yeah, and the yeah. Crockett's. Um, so I was like, well, geez, I don't, nobody's like that far away. Like, it could be kind of cool to go give it a shot. And sure. You know, I was hooked. I had a, <laughs> I had a, just a 600 pro and I had no, same as Luke, like no idea what I was getting into. Yeah. I knew I needed a long snow flap, a tether and a chest protector to go race. And outside of that, I showed up with like a full on mountain sled, no valve shocks, <laughs> no screws, nothing. But hey. I was, oh, I was hooked. Yeah. Came, Yep, came home the the next day. I sold that 600, and I knew like all the guys on players were racing assault at the time. So I just I walked in the dealer, bought an assault, and was like, "We're going racing. Like, this is what I need. <laughs> this is it." Heck yeah! Are you still on Polaris or are you Skidoo? I had just left. I think after I just seven post. years of Polaris, I left yeah. and went to Skidoo. Gotcha. Okay. Can yep. you speak on the reasoning for that change? Yeah. Or um, it was all good. You know, um, obviously Polaris is a they're a massive team and. Yeah. Um, support it just gets spread a little thin and skidoo's making a really good charge at wanting to win races they've built you know the new hce sled it's designed around hill climbing and it's an awesome platform from the first time i rode one was like this is the real deal yeah you know so just started laying tracks in towards it and you know everything took off really well yeah mm-hmm. and luke your polaris yeah still yeah. polaris okay nice yeah. uh how, what season is this going to be for you how many this will be eight Oh wow! Yeah, this would be the eighth okay. season. Oh, Damn. So, how did the two of you get connected just through Rimshaw and then start hanging out and become good friends, or what's the story there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were at a, uh, yeah, like the first. I think we raced two races before we went on a. Uh, it was a fly racing ambassador ride. Yeah, and you were semi pro, and I'm sorry, but I didn't really pay that much attention. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be realistic. Yeah, these yeah. pros, some, some these some pros dude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's hard. There's so much going on in a day. Like, yeah. you know, especially when you start racing like the pro class, you're running five times a day, and it's He's like, like step up. Well, <laughs> you, you just get sidetracked. You're like, you have no idea what's going on yeah. through the rest of the time. Like, if you make your class sure. and you run outside of that, you're kind of scattered. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we went on a uh, ambassador ride. Was it? Was it? No, it started as a photo shoot. Yeah, it started ride. as a photo yeah. shoot, then it went to the ride. <laughs> and uh, no, you're <laughs> um, yeah. So then we, I don't know, met at the ambassador ride and best friends it, ever it, since. It off, yeah, I, I mean, guess. like realistically, yeah. Yeah. we probably good. not talked maybe what ten total days in that time span. Yeah, we talk on the phone a lot. Yeah, so we do. It, it's been cool, like <laughs> sure. to find another buddy that's like. Just constantly yeah. into crazy stuff that you are, and into like, the same obsession. So yeah, you know. Is there any motivation for you to switch to Skidoo just because of your guys's relationship, or it's, are you happy where you're at, or don't want to? If you don't want to speak on it, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's no secret. Like, you know, for racing, like I'm a privateer. You know, like mm-hmm. I'm I'm funding most of this. Like I'm yeah. getting cash sponsors and stuff, but yeah. um, 
OEM help would be awesome. Uh, my dealership, Mount Hood Polaris, they, uh, I couldn't do this without them. Like, sure. you know, I start talking to some of these other guys, like some big names, like talking like what dealer support they might be getting. Cause like you kind of need that too. And it helps. Oh, yeah, you you need that. like a really good dealer in your corner. And, it, and For sure. you know, I kind of talk about the deal that I got going a little bit and people are like, Whoa, that that's crazy. Like yeah. I'm paying retail on, you know, spark plugs type of thing, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, sure. some big names like are like a dealer just doesn't, doesn't yeah, invest okay. in them. Doesn't really care. And mine, mine does. So gotcha. um, that's, that's cool. huge. That's it cool. helps. It's something you want to hold on to for yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, like they're, I mean, I got married a little over a month ago that, you know, the dealership, like the owners and the family, like they're at my wedding yeah. and that's stuff. Cool. So, yeah, that's, um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, super neat. Hey, what's up guys? I want to take a quick second to introduce another one of this year's sponsors. We have RSI. So the handlebar setup on your sled is arguably probably one of the most important components on your whole setup. So definitely check out their site. They've got a ton of different products and use SledSyn24 at checkout for a discount. How many how many different classes are you guys racing in? Ooh, five. We're, we're limited to five classes. Yeah, so you're racing in all of them? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. Well, there's... there's 15 class 15 classes yeah 15 pro classes yeah 15 pro classes to choose from so you kind of got to like pick your poison holy crap yeah okay so what what did you guys guys pick (laughs) (laughs) i i don't know that there's a class no i guess i haven't raced the big improved classes but other than that i've been all over through my career yeah like when i first went pro um it was like kind of same thing as luke like it was more or less a privateer effort yeah you know just trying to do this like as feasibly as possible yeah so like the most realistic thing to do was a stock 600 and at the time a stock 800 well that gets you through four classes then you just kind of pick like one improved class or another to bump a stalker into you you're giving up some but it was like you know just didn't pencil out to buy another snowmobile for it yeah sure gotcha and what about you uh well so for for this year i'm racing uh six stock seven stock and then nine thousand improved and six mod okay it's it's a lot. That's four snowmobiles. Yeah. That's four for me. That's that. Yeah. I'm, that's a lot of parts. That's a lot it's of stuff. A, it's, that's it's a lot silly, of greenbacks. Is what that is. So we don't get to race each other this year. No. No, so you're gonna coach me. You're the yeah. co- you're my official coach. Yeah. Yeah. We'll coach. see you in the king. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you're yeah. my official coach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. So. How, did, how did you boys perform this last season? Ooh. We had some really Ooh. good days, and we had some really bad ones. Yeah. It's like yeah. that yeah. meme. Sometimes I may be good, sometimes I may be bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah. yeah. It, no, we had some really good days. You yeah. Had some days where you are just stoked, you are fired up and ready to go, and there was – I had some pretty good mechanical failures this year. And okay. Some things on my own fault, and then some of it was just ill-prepared. But, sure. you know, there was a few days where I was like, ready to sell everything and buy a boat and <laughs> just dude, be done really oh he yeah he called me oh, after was race he was home he's like dude i'm retiring like i'm done with this you know <laughs> i'm like no no you're not <laughs> <laughs> calm down calm down yeah. <laughs> yeah, we show up at the next race and uh darren gould he's the players hill climb team coordinator i, was, uh-huh. I told darren that i was like i was done i was retired selling it <laughs> you know just buying a boat and yeah darren's like oh we've all had those yeah. days yeah. like <laughs> yep don't worry about it power yeah. through it yeah yeah Kobe, you got some some questions you know you're, you're uh, I'm, I'm banging dude yeah We're doing good. <laughs> so um did you guys go to because i saw california had a a race this season too did yeah, you guys yeah. Go to, that was the official last one yep, of the, the season how one. did you both go to that yep okay how was how was that one that was my best race was it it was pretty sick like the it venue was, was super cool yeah yeah kind of I, the run with the rock features and formations like yep. side hilling over the spines it was a really cool course it, yeah, yeah it's probably one of my favorite races like yeah. it was a okay. lot of fun like everybody was kind of letting loose too for that like last one like yeah. actually that night so like after qualifying that would have been friday night friday we were night. all hanging out in this lodge and like we're racing the next day and Everybody's getting a little loose, you know, and I mean, it, it was just, uh, I don't know, the community, like kind of going back to the racing community, it, it, it's just full of good people. Yeah. Like Getting a little it, sandy out there. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just fun to kind of hang out, like you sure. can hang out with everybody, like 
for the most part, all the racers like are they're cool, Everybody just good, chill. Yeah. cool, yeah. good people. Yeah. So yeah, I've kind of got that vibe. We did a episode with Cole Thomas yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. He seems like a stud. He yeah, is for he sure. Is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I might have donated a few bucks to Cole this season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Um, I'm what's, sure he appreciates. Yeah. I'm sure he did. <laughs> yeah. What's, uh, what's like, the the off-season look for you guys, or look like for you guys, and kind of around the topic of, um, like, your workout fitness regimen? Like, what do you guys do in the off-season to stay prepared? I know you boys. What do you do, Luke? Yeah. <laughs> This off season was a little bit rough, but yeah. <laughs> but like I'll, I'll I don't know I get busy like working in the summers and then yeah. uh, what do you do for work? Uh, we have a water well drilling business okay. and then I grow Christmas trees. Okay, yeah. nice. So nice. okay, um, yeah, just get a little bit you know busy with that and sure. Um, I don't know, just nothing. It should be better, but okay. it's not. <laughs> sure, got it, got it. Okay. Okay. What about for you, Riley? I mean, I ride a lot of dirt bikes in the off season. Do you? Yeah, okay. I spend a lot of time riding bikes. Not yeah. not so much like moto and track stuff, but you know, a lot of enduro, hard yeah. enduro type stuff. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah. you took off a little bit early and yeah. jumped over to Montana <laughs> yeah. for a little rip, didn't you? How was that? I did. It was cool. I yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to buy a snowmobile from him, so I'm like, oh, like let's just fly out together. And we've been talking about dirt bikes, and I haven't rode since I was. Uh, like on a dirt bike ride since I was like 12 years old. Okay. And uh, so I was pretty excited about it. I told my dad, I'm like, yeah, I'm going dirt bike riding. And I got my butt chewed over. He's like, <laughs> he's like, dude, like, don't try and keep up with Riley. Like, you yeah, you're don't not, try you're, and keep up. Yeah. He's like, you're not a dirt bike rider. He's like, last time you rode one, you broke your leg. I'm like, dude, I was 12. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so, funny. Yeah. You're but it, better it, now. Yeah. Gosh, dad. <laughs> but man, we had fun. Like, I'm, I'm kind of hooked. So. Yeah. Probably gonna have to go buy a dirt I ain't got to spend more money, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. That stuff right, just grows though. on trees, don't yeah. it? Easy yeah. come, easy go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, work hard, play hard. Yeah. yeah. So, after obviously, Heydays is, you know, the official kickoff to winter and stuff. Talk a little bit about the uh, stoke level you boys have for going into this next next season, where your head's at. For me, with the, the whole new Skidoo deal and um, everything, like Rusty Johnson runs the hill climb program over there. Okay. And, uh, just everything that him and I have talked about, it's I'm way more excited for this season than I ever have been. Ever have. Yeah, oh, like just to the, start working with them. The drives back, like yeah. fitness is coming back that's into super everything. Cool, dude. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's super sick. It'll be interesting to see how that energy transmutes into your performance yeah, on the hill. I was like I was worried last season. I was like, dude, is like is my fire burnt out? I'm like is that like the problem in this that's whole a tough thing? thing dude that's a tough thing and it's internal i mean you there's nobody that can solve that one but you and i was i was kind of worried was like i don't want to be done i love it like i still want to be around but i was like if i'm just kind of just showing up anymore yeah, it's yeah, not like that if I'm cool not getting my success rates that i want yeah it all oh, last season was so stressful it was terrible sure. but now with this like the fire's lit it, <laughs> it's hot right now you're powered you through you're on yeah. the ramp up well and you just got people that are like oh he's you know, he just switched. And he's, you know, he's got to relearn everything. Like, kind of almost count as a throwaway season. Yeah. So there's something to prove. Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tyler with Sled Send. Wanted to take a second of your guys' time and ask for your guys' support for what we're doing with the brand of Sled Send. So if you guys are enjoying, you know, the podcast episodes with all the different guests, the tour videos and such, check out uh, sledsend.com. We have a variety of different merch. Every order comes with air fresheners and stickers. And like I said, we appreciate your guys' support. We need it to continue to do this. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, and what about for you? Prove it. <laughs> yeah. No, man, I'm just getting, I don't know, I'm getting excited. I'm yeah. just working on getting faster, and, yeah. you know, that goal is to try and land a, uh, you know, OEM sponsor. So, yep. you know, I, I just, I know I need to get uh, get a little bit faster, and, yeah. you know, I, I am making some class changes, so that's okay. going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting, and, you know, try and get some more uh, uh, backcountry riding in, and, yeah. Uh, just signed with uh, Speedworks to start oh. running some of their stuff. Nice. More in the backcountry, but yeah, that's, yeah, cool. that's, that's going to be really cool. You yeah. know, they they reached out and you know it's they're trying to push Polaris product more, and um, but it was kind of just like a no brainer. Like yeah. everybody knows Speedworks and their stuff runs. Like yeah. their yeah. Articat stuff's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. like they know how to build, they know how to make power. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm Certainly. super excited to yeah, try that out. Cool. Good for you. Polaris slash how do you guys practice how to hill climb? 
Like, do you just go to places and are like, you go, man, yeah. this set up like mark up hill. Uh, let's do turn one, turn two, turn three, or do you guys have like spots every year where you're like, hey, yeah, know, I mean, we got this hill climb, that hill climb, where you have one that you maintain. I mean, there's really no maintain them because, like, you know, we don't have a groomer or anything, but. You know, we've I've got like my certain hills that I pretty much just keep going back to to practice. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, a lot of times just use trees and bushes for gates and set sure. up a mock course. And it's hard though, especially like because when Luke and I get together and actually get to go practice, the course develops a lot faster. It gets gnarly quicker, which is you know it's great training. But if it's like just one it's of us by ourselves, by the time you get a course like pounded in, that's like pretty realistic and everything, you're just spent. Yeah, oh, you're, yeah, you're I'm tired. Sure. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's tough like i don't know it, it's fun being able to go over and, and practice and but yeah having to like go out by yourself and practice and yeah. put a hill in like you know you want to create those deep trenches and yeah, stuff yeah. And yeah i got a buddy back home named jesse that he's been awesome with like wanting to hop in and what's his instagram uh jesse hill jesse y- yeah. Hill. yeah okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we <laughs> talked <Okay. laughs> that's sick yeah. got it yeah so like jesse's helped he's helped me a lot with the racing especially yeah. that last year of like uh-huh. or the first year sorry of like knowing knowing nobody and he uh he was able to spend a lot of time with me like going out and he'd I, he'd ride one of my sleds and you know he'd kind of practice on on the same course mm-hmm. to help me put that in and like you know we're sitting there like well, what, what what if you do this? What if you do this? Like we we don't know what the we don't know what racing technique yeah. is or anything. So sure. the two of us were like figuring this out. And nice. I let him actually race my stock sled in uh, amateurs at the oh end yeah, of the nice. oh so, right on. Yeah, man, he came in and went. Uh, yeah, made uh, finals in two of the three classes he was in, and yeah, yeah he killed it for one race. You know, nice. so it was fun. It, it's cool being able to give somebody else that opportunity, give him the opportunity oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. build the sure. sleds with with all the help I was getting from for him. Sure. So. Like, you appreciate that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I hate to say this, but <laughs> it's been a half hour already, so we got <laughs> yeah. to gotta stick to the schedule. Um, and this is kind of becoming a common theme, but it's, you know, we do 30 minutes to respect Hey Day's busy schedules and yeah, stuff. But, for sure. you know, we need to jam for an hour or more, yeah, you know, that'd be cool. and get, get you boys back on and not have a time limit because I know there's more to be said <laughs> yeah, <a lot> more <laughs> for sure. So, um, we'll go ahead and wrap this episode up, but we always end with, um, like the question of the episode. Um, so I want to ask both of you to ask the listeners and viewers directly. What is something that you want to ask them? Um, and then we clip it and use it on TikTok and reels and stuff and people, you know, thumb warriors and give their opinions and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it could be related to Rimshaw. It could be backcountry stuff. It could be sponsorship stuff. It could be, you know, OEM stuff. Doesn't matter. Broad, narrow. What, what's whatever uh, kind of questions yeah, you what's guys up, want. You boys want to want to ask. <laughs> you go first. Put you on the spot. Wow. <laughs> he got it in before he could say wow. that. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, bud. You're Always welcome. looking out for you. <laughs> wow. He says. Question for the listeners. I want to know how to get people more engaged with Rimshaw. Like, wh- yeah. what yeah. can be changed to, you know, really bring people on board and watch it, not as yep. something like golf. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. That's a really good question. So, uh, listeners, comment below. We want to know. We want some of that feedback. Um, Luke? <laughs> okay, so you that think... That was a good you, one, yeah. It was a really, <laughs> it was a really, really good one. So... Luke, why don't you think on that for a second? And then um, my last and final ask is, uh, Riley, I'll start with you. If you would do the honors to sign the banner, oh, that'd absolutely. Be, that would be super sick. Wherever you want, um, while Luke is pondering. Just because, yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't got one. Of his name. <laughs> uh, Riley needs some help. Come up See, with another question. You threw me under the bus, bud. You're on your and own. You took the good one. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends, but sometimes Dude, you gotta figure know. it out, man. He's like, don't even ask for a ski pole anymore. Something, maybe, maybe do something. I was ready for this. <laughs> maybe, maybe do, maybe do something about bringing. Try to bring Rimshaw something to Oregon, if that's a possibility, or what people's thoughts are on that. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, look at the camera and do it. Yeah, uh, right. it doesn't matter. <laughs> it it doesn't matter. You can whatever. Yeah, what do you guys think of uh, bringing Rimshaw to Oregon or like what other states? You know, we are actually uh, Rimshaw's looking for a couple venues this year. So, um, yeah, if you guys have a spot or a location that's going to work, uh, get in contact with 
one of us and we can actually get the ball rolling on that. Yeah, yeah that's a great question. Let us know your answers below. Um, we will tag your guys' Instagram. Is that probably the best platform to get a hold of you guys? Yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll tag that in the description below. So listeners and viewers, definitely go check out their profiles and drop a follow and keep some tabs on these boys going into this next season. So, uh, well, cool, boys. I want to say um, thank you so much for you know, reaching out and scheduling and jumping on the podcast. We'll have to do it again. Dude, thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank Pleasure to meet you, fellas. It'd be cool thank to set you. up a ride, too. You're yeah, we're close. Three so. hours or... Yeah. yeah. So we got to do something. Yeah, we'll do it. And you, too. I mean, I want to yeah. go back to Montana. My family still lives yeah. over there and stuff, so... There's some good riding just uh, north of Ovando. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> Absolutely. So, cool, boys. Well, I appreciate you guys jumping on. And Sleds and listeners, thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you guys on the next one.